Greetings and welcome to Educate. If you had watched our previous video on the ozone layer and ozone depletion, I stay tuned as we explore the process of heating. So, okay, so we have got processes of heating. So basically heating of the earth just talks about how the earth receives heat and how is it distributed to certain, certain places. So in this case, we've got the first process of heating, which is called radiation. So what is radiation? So radiation is just emission of heat and energy in the form of waves. So heat waves from the sun come with radiant energy to the earth. So in this case, you can see this diagram that illustrates how this all happens. So first of all, we've got incoming solar radiation or it is called insulation. So this is called insulation. Remember, we say the radiation is just the emission of heat and energy in the form of waves. So this is the radiant energy or the waves, the heat waves that are moving that radiant energy to the earth from the sun. So this is the incoming solar radiation. So it comes in the form of 100% because it hasn't been spent on anything. The, uh, so the radiation hasn't been spent on anything, hasn't been distributed to any place. So it comes in as 100%, meaning it's full or it's complete. And then when it comes to the earth, as indicated by the arrow that goes down over there, it goes first, it is absorbed at the earth's surface. So here you can see this arrow continues, showing that there is an absorption at the earth's surface. So the earth's surface basically talks about the ground here, where we find the trees, where we find the buildings, where we find the people, all that stuff. We find it at the Earth's surface. So 51% of the incoming solar radiation or, or the insulation is absorbed by the Earth's surface. But then let's look at another way. So 19% is absorbed by the atmosphere and clouds. So 19% is absorbed by the atmosphere and clouds. So here it is. So the clouds are able to absorb that radiant energy inside them and the atmosphere is also able to do the very same thing. And then 6% of it is reflected by the atmosphere. So it is reflected or you see a mirror when you look, in, when you look at an a mirror you can see your reflection or you can see yourself but then facing the other direction so this is the reflection it came this way therefore it's going to be reflected back that is that way so that is six percent of it reflected by the atmosphere and then 20 percent of it is reflected by the clouds so there's a lot of a lot of radiant energy that is being reflected here you can see that 20 percent of it goes back there so it's reflected by the clouds and then 4% of it is reflected from the surface. So there's a lot of reflection here as you can see. So first of all, 19% was absorbed by the atmosphere and clouds and then 6% was reflected. That's a reflection reflected by clouds in the atmosphere and then by the earth's surface also. So it means 51% is absorbed into the earth's surface by the earth's surface but then 4% of that energy from the 51 is reflected back. So basically on the earth we end up with 47% of energy remaining. So it means this radiant energy or this, the, 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 this insulation coming goes back there from the atmosphere, from the 51%, it goes back there and we remain with 47% in the earth's surface. So let's look at these processes. So there's conduction. We've already looked at radiation. So this basically talks about radiation and how the radiation process and the emission of heat waves comes to the earth. So let's talk about conduction. So conduction is the transfer of heat by contact. So by contact, it just means there's a touch or there's a physical connection within there. And convection is the transfer of heat by vertical movement so it's just moving vertical in the vertical direction and then let's look at this pot example which just tells you exactly what is con conduction convection radiation so here you can see radiation is these waves these waves that are trans trans transferring heat from this stuff to this to this region so basically here if you are going to put your hand at this position here which i marked in green here your hands will feel heat. Where is how is this heat coming all the way from the stuff to your hand is through this process of radiation. So these waves, these are called heat waves, are transferring the heat to your hand at this point. And then we have got convection. So convection is the transfer of heat by vertical movement. You can see that this heat is moving vertically here. This is convection. This is convection. You can see that this heat is in the stove and it's moving vertically to the port. 
vertical to the port vertically. So these arrows, uh, the green and the black arrows, are representing the movement of heat vertically from this surface, this surface, this stove, which is which is hot. So this is convection process. And then conduction is by contact. By contact, you can see that this person, this hand is touching the pot and the pot is hot. So that's conduction. That's the transfer of heat from the hot side of the pot. This side, this part of the pot is hot. Therefore, that the, the, the heat in this part of the pot is transferred to the hand of this person through a process of conduction. So that is basically the processes associated with the heating. So insulation versus terrestrial radiation. Remember, when we talked about insulation, we talked about the incoming solar radiation. So it's the radiation energy that is coming from the sun. The solar is going to stand for the sun. So the in, this is incoming. The sol is solar, and then the Asian is for the radiation, so this is insulation as one word. So versus terrestrial radiation, so whenever you see the word that says terrestrial, it also talks about the earth. So this is the radiation given off by the earth. So let us compare these two. What makes insulation and terrestrial radiation different? So let's look at insulation at first. So radiation that comes from the sun in the form of waves. So this is basically briefly telling you exactly how, what is insulation. So this is the radiation that is coming from the sun in the form of waves because you cannot see it, you can just feel it. Compare, uh, uh, as mentioned here, you can see that you can feel the heat here from this surface through these heat waves so these are the waves so in this case insulation is this process whereby there is emission of heat waves so it usually happens during the day when radiant energy is transferred so this has to happen during the day why does it have to happen during the day is because there is the sun during the day there is the sun and the sun is able to emit those waves so they there wouldn't be waves during the night because the sun is not present so remember it's all about insulation this solar it means there's a presence of sun so during the night there's no presence of sun therefore it doesn't usually happen during the night but then it usually happens during the day where radiant heat is transferred from the sun which is present during the day so in the form of long and short waves so they are long and short waves during radiation so this is basically how a wave look like as shown here so this is a short wave this is a short wave and then a long wave can be that one from the sun which is traveling a longer distance and then primarily hits the earth surface so primarily it hits the earth surface so 51 percent of it remember according to the first pre or according to these processes 51 percent of it is hitting the earth surface so that's that is why they say it primarily hits the Earth's surface. And then let's look at terrestrial radiation. What makes it different? We have, already, we have already looked at the characteristics of insulation. Now we look at terrestrial radiation. Remember, terrestrial radiation is the radiation that comes from the Earth. Okay, so terrestrial radiation, radiation is just heat. So radiation that comes from the Earth and its atmosphere. So that makes it different from insulation. You can see insulation, it was the radiation that comes from the sun, not the Earth. Insulation was from the sol, from the solar or from the sun. So this is basically the sun. But then for terrestrial radiation, it is coming from the Earth. So this is the Earth, which is standing for the terrestrial radiation and its atmosphere. The Earth's atmosphere and the Earth itself are releasing terrestrial radiation. So it mostly happens at night. It happens at night, not during the day. So it is actually opposite to the insulation, which happens during the day because of the presence of the sun. This is the insulation process that happens because there is presence of the sun during the day and it consists of long waves. Remember, the insulation can consist of the short waves and the long waves, but then the terrestrial radiation contains long waves only. So there is water vapor and carbon dioxide which are concentrated close to Earth, whereas more absorption takes place and the air is warmer. So the air is warmer because of terrestrial radiation, right? And the water vapor and carbon dioxide are concentrated close to the Earth. So by concentrated close to the Earth, it just means that there is got a high amount of water vapor and carbon dioxide closer to the Earth. The concentration, the high concentration, means that there's a high amount 
to or close to the earth of water vapor and carbon dioxide. So let's look at convection, conduction, and radiation. So these are the processes of warming. So convection is the transfer of heat through a fluid, a liquid or gas, gas caused by molecular motion. So this is the molecular motion. This is this area is representing the heat transfer from this surface vertically going to the pot. So this is the process of convection, the movement of heat in a vertical direction, as you can see. And then we've got the conduction process, which is the transfer of heat of or, or electric current from one substance to another by direct contact. If I were to, to put my hand here, or if you were to touch this, uh, the, this, this handle of the pot, you would feel the heat. So the heat is being transferred from this handle to your hand. So that is conduction through contact. So that touching is the contact. So radiation is the energy that is radiated or transmitted in the form of rays or waves or particles. So here, if I was going to put my hand here at this position A, if I, if I was going to put my hand, then I would receive that heat in form of waves. So this heat is being transferred from the from here to here in form of waves so this is basically the heating of the earth thank you for watching